Good day to everyone joining us and welcome to today's X Talks webinar. Today's talk is entitled Boost CRISPR Editing Efficiency Using Optimized sgRNA and HDR Template Design. My name is Sonia Hunt and it's my pleasure to be your X Talks moderator for today. Today's webinar will run for approximately 60 minutes. This presentation includes a Q&A session with our speaker. This webinar is designed to be interactive, and webinars work best when you're involved. So please feel free to submit questions and comments for our speaker throughout the presentation using the questions chat box, and we'll try to attend to your questions during the Q&A session. Now, this chat box is located in the control panel, which is found on the right-hand side of your screen. If you require any assistance, please contact me at any time by sending a message using this chat panel. I'd also like to welcome our attendees viewing this presentation from our LinkedIn Live event, and I encourage you to submit questions as well via the comments tab. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. Please note that this event will be recorded and made available for streaming for those who register on xtalks.com. At this point, I'd like to thank Genscript, who developed the content for this presentation. Genscript is a leading contract research organization in the world, providing gene, peptide, protein, CRISPR, and antibody. Since its foundation in 2002, Genscript has grown exponentially through partnerships with scientists conducting fundamental life science research, translational biomedical research, and early stage pharmaceutical development. The company is recognized as having built a best in class capacity and capability for biological research services, encompassing gene synthesis, peptide synthesis, custom antibody and protein engineering, and in vitro and in vivo pharmacology, all with the goal to make research easy. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today's webinar, and she is Dr. Jia Zhao. Field Application Scientist, Zhu, I should say, Field Application Scientist, Life Science Group with Genscript Biotech Corporation. She holds a PhD in Development Genetics from Miami University and is an expert in stem cells and regenerative biology, focusing on the development of innovative regener regenerative therapies for neurogenerative diseases. Her expertise spans disease modeling, genome engineering, and the advancement of gene and cell therapies. As an application scientist, she has has specialized in the application of CRISPR technology in gene and cell therapy development, playing a crucial role in supporting numerous researchers with CRISPR gene editing designs and providing technical guidance, particularly in the areas like CAR T cell engineering. Additionally, Dr. Zhu developed the Gen CRISPR sgRNA design tool and HDR template design tool, both of which are grounded in her extensive knowledge and experience and have been validated to demonstrate excellent editing efficiency. Now, before I pass the mic and the controls over to Jia, we do have two poll questions that I'm going to run back to back. So your participation is strongly encouraged and very much appreciated. And here's our poll question. As you see it appear on your screen, have you ever used CRISPR technology? Very simple, yes or no. So please go ahead, everyone, and cast your vote. And then once I've seen that we've got everybody participating in this poll question, I'll close the polls, show the results, and then I'll go on to poll question number two. And we'll do the same thing there. Okay, perfect. That looks like it's half of our audience. That's great. Okay, if we can get the other half now participating. Oh, looks like everybody's jumping in now. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, perfect. All right, this, uh, all right, a few more seconds. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating in poll question number one. Let's close the polls and take a look at the results. Okay, so here's the results. 64% of our audience said yes, while 36% said no. So thank you very much, everyone, for participating in poll question number one. Now let's jump into poll question number two. I'm going to launch it again. That blue screen will take over. You should see it there. Perfect. Have you ever used GenScript's CRISPR services? And then again, yes or no. So please go ahead and cast your vote. And I'll give you another 35 seconds to complete this simple poll question before we get into the great discussion. Okay, so if I can get, that looks like it's about uh, half of our audience. Perfect. 
And now everybody's jumping in, so I'll leave it open for a few more seconds to get everybody participating in this uh, poll question. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm now going to close the polls and let's take a look at the results. So in our audience, 10% have used it while 90% have said no. So thank you very much, everyone, for participating in both those poll questions. Now it's my pleasure to pass the mic and the controls over to Gia. So Gia, when you're ready, you may begin. Hello, everyone. Welcome to join today's webinar. My name is Jia Zhu. I'm a field application scientist with GeneScript. Today, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce GeneScript Scanner A and HDR design tools. Hopefully, after today's webinar, you will be more familiar with both tools, also feel comfortable to use both tools to design guide and HDR templates for your CRISPR knockout knocking applications. Let's dive in. My presentation covers five parts. The first part is the general introduction of GeneScript Scatter and HDR design tools. I will explain their applications, also the advantages of using both tools to quickly put out the guide RNA and HDR designs for your CRISPR experiments. I will show you how to design or order those reagents online. The fourth part, I'm going to share a few cases to further explain in what kind of scenario you can use those tools, also how to determine the, uh, the best design parameters and to better exact designs you need for your projects. The last part is the Q&A session. We will reserve some time to collect and answer questions. As we know that CRISPR technology is widely used in different research areas, such as cell and gene therapy development, cell and animal disease modeling, and genetic engineering in plants, also for vaccine development, to name a few. The rationale design of GANA A and HDR templates is the first and the most crucial step for a successful CRISPR experiment. GeneScript's powerful guide RNA and HDR design tools enable the researchers to design the guide and HDR templates for CRISPR knockout and unlocking applications. They can make one-stop shop for all the CRISPR regions they need for their experiments. The guide RNA and HDR design tools are made for easy operation will provide free tutorial video, also user guides to guide you through the whole design and ordering process. Both tools are highly optimized to capture the accurate the design requirements and uh, uh, put out the best the guide and HR templates uh, for you to uh, quickly get those regions to order and produced. This slide shows the design to web page. There are two buttons. One is knockout, and the other one is HR knockout. Click each button, you'll be led to the design tool homepage. Before you start using those tools, there are a few things to consider. One, what CRISPR genome editing platform do you plan to use? Is it Cas9 based, Cas12 based, or other Cas variants? Do you plan to perform a in vitro or in vivo gene editing? Do you plan to knock out a one or multiple gene, or you want to perform a knock in experiment and to introduce a pollen mutation or a small tag? or a large transgene expression cassette, or you plan to perform a fragment deletion editing. Also for gene target, does your gene encode a protein or is a non-protein coding gene or sequence? For target species, do you work with a human, mouse, or any other species? Also for CRISPR component delivery platform, do you plan to use a virus or a snapware based delivery platform, such as RMP or MP? For the product format, do you plan to use a plasmid or a synthetic guide RNA and a linear or circular double strand DNA uh, HDR templates? Also, do you prefer to make any modifications to the guide sequence or HDR templates to further improve the editing efficiency? So with all the information in hand, uh, you start to use those tools to make designs. For knockout applications, you will need to use a guide RNA design tool. GeneScript guide RNA design tool is developed to design guide RNA sequences for knockout experiments. You can order synthetic guide RNA or guide RNA expression vector with this tool. The design tool supports guide RNA designs for Cas9 and Cas12 based gene editing. It supports the designs for 10 species, including human and mouse. 
The design tool uses an optimized design algorithm and guide selection criteria. The guides will target early axons of the gene target to avoid truncate the functional proteins remaining behind after the IgG. The design will ensure high transcript coverage. We try to target as many transcripts as possible to ensure complete protein depletion. The guide RNA GC content, also the selection criteria, are also optimized to make the design and the selection process as easy as possible. The guides designed by our design tool have shown very high IDT efficiency in the different cell types we tested, also the different target loci, it all has shown very high IDT efficiency, which is about 90%. Here shows the design to homepage where you can submit your design request. You can select the correct nucleus, target species. Also here you can submit the gene name and gene ID. You can decide how many design outputs you would like to receive for DN. Uh, the tool can provide up to 100 uh, SGI sequences per gene target. The gene sample and gene ID can be found at NCBI gene database or any publicly available databases. After submitting the gene information, the tool will generate a list of gathering sequences, uh, which is shown in the table here. The selected guides will be labeled in orange color and the locations are indicated the sequence map. The unselected guides will be labeled in different color. The guide designs will follow the rule that it will target the primary transcript of the gene. It targets early axons in protein coding genes to ensure sufficient protein truncation. The guides will be ranked based on the sequence uniqueness. The guides with a high on target score and low off target score, also target early axons, will be put on the top of the list. We recommend the top three galleries for each new gene target. Currently, the guide RNA design tool does not support the guide RNA designs for non protein coding sequence of the gene. If you need design support, please reach out to our technical support team. We can assist you with the manual designs. The guide RNA will work with the Cas9 or Cas9 way nucleus to cut at the target site to create a double strand break. We will look for an indels that lead to frame shift mutation. You can click the question marks and check for the details, such as the on-target score and the potential off-target size. Also, you can decide if you want to have the validation primers to be designed as well. After you review guidance sequences and make a decision, you can proceed with the order placement. You can order either guide RA oligo or guide RA plasmid construct. In the guide order web page, you will see there's a list of the, the gathering sequences. Each one is 20 nucleotide long. A default 18 nucleotide scaffold sequence will be added to the end of the target guide RNA. The final sequence length is 100 nucleotide. We we'll apply the default 5 prime, 3 prime, and the modifications, and the locations will be in the first and last three nucleotides of the RNA molecule. We offer two purity grade. Easy added as GRA goes through the dissolved purification process, and safe added will go through HPLC purification process. We guarantee over 90% purity for safe added guide RNA. We can deliver guide RNAs in dry powder or in tea buffer or nucleus plate water. We can deliver guide RNA products in single tube or 90 square well plates. To review the items and determine the quantity and the quality and the proceed uh, to the next step. You can also order the validation primers, control guide RNA, and Cas nucleases in protein or mRNA format as one editing kit. Select those items and add to your shopping cart. Review all the items in your shopping cart. If everything is correct and fit your needs, proceed to place the order online. You can also order guide RNA expression plasmid via this tool. If you choose the order guide RNA plasmid construct, the tool will guide you to another web page where you can look up the available guide RNA expression vectors in our inventory and decide which one to go with. 
Also, you can provide your preferred back to back bone. I uh, can build the customized gallery expression plasmid for you. The gallery design tool also supports the castor bay CRRA sequence designs for castor bay based gene editing. The two castor bay nucleases the two supports are AS castor bay and LB castor bay. It supports designs for 10 species, including human mouse and eight mouse species. For other castor based variants, you need to submit a complete 40 to 49 nucleotide sequences, also with the design modification for us to process as a customized castor bay CRRA sequence order. Here's one example. We want to design a castor bay CRRA sequences to now cut a mouse sucks to gene. For our design to homepage, provide the gene information. The design to will generate a list of gallery sequences for cas 12 a based editing. Review the sequences, and if the satisfies your need, you can proceed to place the order. Currently, you can only order the cas 12 a CR sequences as they are in Oligo. We do not provide cas 12 a gallery a plasmid option. But if you want to build cas 12 a gallery a expression plasmid, please provide the vector information. In the order placement webpage, uh, you will see there's a set of 23 nucleotide CRRA sequences. For AS castor A gallery A, a default 20 nucleotide scaffold sequence will be added. The final sequence length is 43 nucleotide. For LB castor A gallery A, a default 21 nucleotide scaffold sequence will be added. The final sequence length is 44 nucleotide. We will not apply and the modifications to the castor bay gather a sequences unless asked. If you require a specific modification pattern or a different scaffold sequence, please provide the complete uh, sequence information and the modifications. We provide two purity options, dissolved and HPLC purified. We can deliver those gather sequences in dry powder, tea buffer, or nucleus free water. We can deliver them in single tube or 96 well plates. Review the designs and uh, decide the quantity and delivery format, and also the what items you'd like to check out together and add those items into the cart. You can also order the cast nucleus and the validation primers and galleries all together as one editing kit. Currently, GeneScript is running a promotion for our Guider A product. We offer 30% off for all galleries, including Cas9 SGRA, Cas12 A CRA, and PacRA. The deadline is December 31st, 2024. We we'll also offer three free galleries for any new customers. The deadline is November 30th, 2024. Please take this opportunity uh, to try out our guides. GeneScript is very confident about the quality of our guide RA products. We have an excellent record for batch to batch consistency. Uh, the guides are with high purity and a high editing efficiency. We can achieve up to 98% in the cell types, also the uh, target load side we tested. We provide one stop solution, not only the guide RA, also other CRISPR reagents that are required for the CRISPR knockout, knocking experiments. Our product is very cost effective. Uh, we will help you to stretch your budget and uh, get more regions and conduct more experiments. Now let's talk about the second design tool is GeneScript HDR design tool. It's used for the design guide and HDR templates for knocking applications. GeneScript HDR design tool is developed to design gallery and HDR templates for knocking experiments. You can order both the galleries, also the HDR templates via this tool. The HDR design tool supports the gallery and the HDR designs for Cat9 and Cat12 A based knocking applications. It supports the designs for 10 species and the multiple edit types. That includes point mutation, small insertion, small deletion, large insertion, and large deletion. It supports three non-viral DNA payload formats. Linear single strand DNA, linear double strand DNA, and gene circle double strand DNA templates. 
The design team uses a set of optimized design parameters with updated on-target score and off-target scores, also optimized design ranking system. Besides the typical HR design, the HR design team has additional functions which allow you to further optimize the HR design and to improve the knocking efficiency. There are some limitation functions and the CTS design. The design team uses an improved customer interface with a clear sequence display, workflow instruction, additional design export function. The order placement process is also easy to follow and make adjustments. The design team offers optimized homage arm design. Uh, you can use the design uh, uh, recommended by the tool or customize it. The design team also offer 24 tags and link options. You can use the recommended tags and link options to quickly design the HR templates for the knocking uh, experiment. The design tool also has a small but useful tool, it's a sequence flip tool. You can use this tool to adjust the orientation of the insertion sequence or put up the reverse complementary sequence to better align with the sequence reading used by the tool. The design tool also has the multiple sequence check functions uh, to detect the presence of multiple start and stop codons uh, in the sequence after the insertion. Also, it can detect formation mutations as well. You can use this tool to quickly uh, check and capture errors during the design process. Here's the design tool homepage where you can submit your design request you can select the correct nucleus target species, also submit a gene name. For the HDR design tool, you can also use the gathering sequence, also the exact chromosome coordinates for the target site uh, to pinpoint to the target site in the sequence map and quickly put out HDR designs. Currently, GeneSecret provides three non-viral DNA payload options. They are gene exact single strand DNA, gene world double strand DNA, and gene circle double strand DNA. Those three DNA payload options are made for different applications. The gene exact single strand DNA is ideal for T cell engineering and cell and animal disease modeling. It has to minimize the cytotoxicity and a, a lower off target effects. It's ideal to be used as templates for performing a precise knocking, such as making a point mutation. The insertion length this the payloads can accommodate is from 150 nucleotides to 5 kV. We can produce different scales from microgram to gram, milligram scale. The gene world double strand DNA payloads is designed for longer sequence insertion. It's ideal for screening and seal up uh, during the production. This DNA payload format has a closed end structure to provide better protection for the DNA sequence in integrity and stability. The insertion length this DNA payload format can accommodate is from 1 kV to 10 kV. We can produce different scales from microgram to gram scale. The gene cycle is circular double strand DNA payload format and is ideal replacement for the plasmid HDR templates. It's ideal for scale up and fast delivery. This DA payload has a miniature vector backbone. It's only 429 base pairs compared to the conventional plasmid and has shown lower cytotoxicity and a higher transfection efficiency. Compared to the conventional DA uh, payload format as plasmid, the knocking efficiency can increase uh, by up to 30%. This gene circle adapter DNA plasmid does not contain antibiotic resistant gene, so it can help avoid regulatory concerns. The initial length it can handle is from 1 to 20 kV. Also, we offer different production scales from microgram to gram. For all the three DNA payloads, we offer both research grade region and also CGMP grade region. Here, I'm going to show you a few uh, design cases to further explain uh, in what kind of scenario you can use those tools. Also, how to set up the best uh, um, design parameters to put out the exact designs that meet your project needs. The first case is to make a point mutation in the human check 2 gene. 
The mutation is a single nucleotide change, which leads to an amino acid conversion. We have the exact chromosome location of the mutation, which is shown on the slide. The design will be used for SPCAS9 based gene editing. After submitting the gene information, the design tool will lead to the next page where you can see uh, the uh, genomic sequence of target gene is displayed in the sequence map. The blue color indicates the axon regions of the gene target. Please pay attention to the arrows in the blue boxes. The arrows point to the left direction indicates the gene is on the negative strand. Arrows point to the right direction indicates the gene is on the positive strand. That determines the uh, orientation of the uh, coding sequence in the sequence map. If you provide exact chromosome location of the target site, and the tool will guide you directly to the uh, target site, which is shown in the sequence map by the green bar. If you do not provide chromosome location, the default start site will be the first codon of the coding sequence of the gene target. You can decide how many design outputs you would like to receive per request. You can also use the sequence flip tool to adjust the orientation of the interest sequence to align with the sequence reading used by the tool. You can also use uh, the default homogram arm setting to uh, determine the homogram length of your HR templates. Also, you can decide if you'd like to add the synergy mutation or use the CTS design for your HR templates. Proceed to the next step, use a green bar to drag across the sequence map to select the sequence you want to modify. The sequence will appear in the mutation box. Make the desired modifications, the resulting sequence change will appear in the sequence map. You can decide if you want to introduce additional sign mutations into your HDR design or not. If your modification is within the coding sequence of the gene target, we recommend to use this function. Making additional sign mutations will disrupt the guide A target sequence and to prevent the RMP to rebind and record the target sites after the editing is achieved. If your editing is in the non-coding region, uh, please be careful with this function because the non-coding region often contains the regulatory elements or near the spice site. You want to ensure that the additional mutation will not interrupt the protein transcription and translation. Beyond the typical HDR donor template design, we we'll also offer the Cas9 targeting sequence design that can be added to the single strand DNA templates that can further improve knocking efficiency. The CDI sequence is a mutated gather sequence with a PAM sequence, which provides a bending dock for the gather A RMP complex to the HDR templates. So three components can be co-delivered into nucleus to the target site uh, to increase knocking rate. More information can be found in this publication. When adding the CTS to the gene exact single stranding template, it is necessary to design a new DNA oligos uh, to allow the CTS sequence and the HR templates to form a partial double strand DNA structure uh, to allow the RMP complex to uh, interact. The annealing DNA oligo consists of the reverse complementary sequence uh, to the 23 nucleotide of the CTI sequence and the 20 nucleotide of homage arm sequence. The figure on the right left shows the location of the CTI sequence on the HDR templates. The figure on the right shows that the single strand DNA templates with the CTI designs uh, have shown the improved knock efficiency by 20%. After completing the design process, the tool will generate multiple design outputs. Each design output has one guideline sequence and one HDR template. Review designs carefully. For example, uh, for guideline sequence, uh, please check the on-target score, off-target score, the GC content, also the distance from the guideline cut site to the mutation. For example, in this case, the, in design one, the guideline sequence has a low GC content. Also, the on-target score is minus, so it's suboptimal. 
The design to gather sequence has a decent on-target score, also the GC content. The distance limitation is 17 base pairs, is under 20 base pairs, so it's the better option for this design request. You can also click the question mark next to the HDR templates to display the full sequence. The design mutation is seen in the middle of the HDR templates. The additional sign mutations are highlighted in different color. Ideally, for the HR template designs, you want to choose the, the distance limitation uh, under 10 base pairs, but uh, in real situation, uh, this the criteria can be adjusted uh, based on the exact uh, the design output. Proceed to the next step to order gather A and HDR templates via our online ordering system. Here shows a list of different items, including gather A and HDR templates, also validation primers. Review the items, determine the quality, quantity, and the deliver format, and proceed uh, to add those items into your shopping cart. You can order test protein, test MRA, control gather A, and the primers as the one editing kit. In the last step of order placement process, you can see some items have leasing price, but the HDR templates do not have price information. It appears as a quote. Because those items are highly customized, we need to review the sequences before we decide if we want to accept the order or not. Please click continue, get a quote. We will receive your quote request and prepare a quote for you after running an internal e review. If you encounter any issues during the design and ordering process, please click the support button. Uh, we will uh, receive your request and assist you uh, with this order. The second case is to make a different permutation in the human tech 2 gene. It's a single nucleotide deletion that leads to a frame shift mutation. We'll first attempt to design guideline and HDR templates for Cas9 based gene editing. We submit the design request and make the genomic modifications in the sequence. The tool generates multiple design outputs. We review the guideline uh, sequences. It shows that all the three guideline sequences they have low GC content and low on target scores, which indicates this region is poor for uh, SGRA. Uh, for the SP Cas9 based gene editing. The alternative approach is to look for the guidance to support Cas12A based gene editing because the Cas12A uh, guidelines will target the AT rich sequences. Go back to design to homepage, uh, we submit a request and uh, make the corresponding genomic modifications in the sequence. Uh, we receive a message that the frame shift uh, the mutation is detected, which is exactly what we want. Please note that CTS design is not available for cast uh, based HDR design because we are still waiting for the wet lab data to show this design is beneficial for cast based uh, knocking applications. Decide if you want to introduce the additional cell mutation, also the, uh, if you want to use the default homage arm design and proceed to the next step. Here are three design outputs, and uh, it shows that design one uh, has the gallery has low GC content, but design two and design three, uh, the guys shows the uh, decent GC content. The decent mutations is, um, is also the decent. Compared to all three, uh, design two is the, the best option uh, to proceed. Also, please note that uh, the Cas12A CR sequence has a, a better tolerance to the low GC content. In the guideline and HDR ordering page, uh, please provide uh, the quantity and deliver format and uh, proceed to the next step. The next design case is to design gather A and HDR templates for a tag insertion knocking project. The target gene is the human DDX41 gene. The gene is located on the reverse strand. 
The tag we want to insert is a habit tag. The insertion location is the C terminus of DD export one gene. From the design to home page, submit the design request. The tool will point to the exact insertion site, which is right before the stop codon of the coding sequence of the gene target. From the select tag, the uh, box uh, use the drop down menu to select the recommended habit tag, insert the tag sequence in the minus strand direction. You can also decide if you want to use the default homage arm design or if you want to introduce the additional side mutation or not. Proceed to the next step. The insertion sequence appear in the sequence map in the right location. We we'll also recommend to add additional GS linker sequences between the insert sequence and the endogenous coding sequence of the target gene. The linker sequence will help minimize the functional disruption of the target gene after insertion. For N-terminal tag insertion, uh, the orders of the linker and tags are as shown below. Endogenous ATG followed by tag and the linker sequence and the rest of the coding sequence of the target gene. For C-terminus tag insertion, the order will be like endogenous coding sequence followed by linker and tag and the endogenous stop codon. The tool provides two GIS linker options. A 3x GIS linker is used for the insertion length and 100 nucleotides. A 5 GIS linker is used for longer insertion, more than 100 nucleotides. Submit the request to generate multiple design outputs, review the designs, and pick the best one to proceed to uh, press orders online. Here, review all the designs and uh, uh, determine the quantity and the deliver format for all the components and proceed to uh, add all the items into your cart uh, to check out. Here are additional information about tag options uh, provided by the tool. The hashtag heavy tags are affinity tags. They can be used to label the target protein to facilitate the detection and purification of the protein targets. The flag, MAC, HE tag, if effect tags are epitope tags that are used to uh, label the target protein so it can be detected by antibodies um, by different downstream assays. The tool provides one fluorescent tag, which is EGFP, which is used to label the target protein for visualization. The tool also provides one protein degradation tag, which is called the D tag, that's used to tag the target protein for degradation. The last two cases are the HDR designs for the precise fragment deletion. This case shows we want to design gather and HDR templates for a 22 base pair fragment deletion in the check 2 gene. This editing requires one gather A and one HDR template. We have the exact chromosome coordinates for the sequence to be deleted. In the sequence map, select the sequence you want to delete. It appears in the mutation box and delete the sequence. The corresponding sequence change appears in the sequence map. Determine other design parameters you want to use and proceed to receive design output. In the design output, review all the designs by checking the gather A on tag score, off tag score, just content, distance to mutation. Also review the uh, single strand DNA template designs um, by click a question mark to display the full sequence. You can also export the designs uh, for further analysis and modification, also for record keeping purpose. Select the best design to uh, proceed to the next step. Review all the items uh, for this design and determine the format of delivery, also the, the quantity, and place the order online. The last case is a HDR design for a HDR mediated precise large frame deletion. The deletion size is 649 base pairs. Uh, the target gene is uh, SAMD11. And this deletion mutation has a clinical significance. This deletion editing requires two guide RAs and one donor template. The homage arm lengths need to be adjusted according to the size of deletion. 
we have the exact chromosome locations of the deletion. In the sixth map, select the region to be deleted and remove the sequence from genomic sequence. Determine the uh, home jump length and uh, then proceed to the next step. You will receive two sets of binary sequences and one for the five prime end of the deletion. The other set is for the three prime end of the deletion. Determine which pair of the binary sequences you want to use and click Submit. The two will generate uh, a pairing HR templates. Review the HDR design, also the binary designs, and you can submit the order online. GSGIVER provides comprehensive tech support for CRISPR users. We have design guide and online design tools to support both the knockout and non-thin CRISPR designs. We also have validated protocols for all major electroposition systems, also leap perfection methods. We also have a CRISPR experts and to offer free technical consultations or any other tech supports you may need for a CRISPR experiment. Please reach out to us when you need any support. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. Uh, now I will pass the floor to Sonia for our Q&A. Well, thank you very much for that very in-depth presentation. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And now, before we get into the Q&A portion of the webinar, let's run our last poll question, and I'm going to launch it now, and you should see it take over your screen. And there it is. Okay, so here's our final poll question. What edit types can the HDR design tool support? Is it point mutation, tag insertion, expression cassette insertion, fragment deletion, or all of the above? So please go ahead right now and cast your vote. And then I will close the polls, take a look at the results, and then we'll get right into the Q&A. Okay, that looks like it's the majority of our audience. I'll leave it open for a few more seconds as I see there's a couple of people making their selection, so I'll give them a few seconds to complete it, and then we'll get into the Q&A. Okay, that looks like the majority of everyone. Okay, thank you everyone for participating in poll question number three. I'm going to close the polls now and let's take a look at the results. Okay, so here are the results. 3% uh, said point mutation, 0% said tag insertion. Then we have another 3% that said expression cassette insertion. And then another 3% of our audience said fragment deletion. And then over, oh, about, oh, yep, yeah, 90% of our audience chose all of the above. So to find out the correct answer, I'm going to bring out uh, Gia and I'm going to put on my webcam and invite Gia to put on her webcam. Hi, everyone. And I'll get Gia to put on her webcam, and then we'll get Gia to give us the answer for poll question number three. What is the answer, Gia? Yeah, the correct answer for poll three, uh, question three, would be E. Uh, the design tool can support all the uh, edit types in the this state here. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for that. And now we'll get right into the Q&A. Uh, so now I'd like to invite our audience to continue sending in their questions or comments for the Q&A portion of the webinar. If you are attending via GoToWebinar, please use the questions window. And for those of you watching on LinkedIn Live events, feel free to post your questions in the comments section. Okay, so while you were speaking, Ajia, I did receive a bunch of questions. So let's see how many we can get through with the time we have together. So the first question I have is, this audience member is asking, I plan to run a knock-in experiment, knocking in a 3KB sequence into primary T cells. What format of HDR template is recommended? Gia, what's your thoughts on that? Yes, so it's based on budget. Uh, the mm -hmm. GSK provides three uh, HDR donor template uh, the options, in, as I uh, showed in my slide. And uh, the amount of uh, the other three options you know, for 3KB insertion lens, especially in the uh, primary T cells, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, single strand DNA template is the best option. Um, but uh, also, the uh, linear double strand DNA templates can also uh, be a, a good option if you have the budget constraint also uh, the, if you are in the your donor template is being optimized you get good efficiency and mm -hmm. that the using the uh, linear double chain DA templates can help you save some cost 
But uh, if you are in the early stage, you are still trying to achieve the very uh, good knocking efficiency uh, with the you know, your HDR template, and uh, mm -hmm. and the single stranding template S3 is the uh, is the best option you can have to achieve the high editing efficiency because it has low such a toxicity, and you can uh, adjust the the amount of the donor payloads and to help you to to knock into the challenging the target low side, uh, also in the challenging primary T cell types. Okay, thank you, Gia. All right, we'll jump to the next question here. This audience member is asking, what is the difference between GenScript eight, um, HDR templates and plasma templates? Which one gives higher KC, or KI, sorry, efficiency? Yeah, that's the whole uh, reason we developed those non-viral DNA payload formats and provide to the researchers who are doing the CRISPR uh, gene editing, especially uh, for G cell and gene therapy development. And mm -hmm. uh, the plasmid is, is a vector, so it's large, has the, uh, the antibody resistance, and has, has high tox the toxicity, also random insertion. So all the, all the, uh, the problems uh, can be handled by the uh, non-viral payload, the, uh, the, the uh, HDR templates. And uh, the, those are synthesized, uh, is a single strand and DNA uh, or double strand DNA templates, and mm -hmm. they can in, uh, help to minimize the off targets and uh, to achieve more precise knock in. Also, because that's not consistent to any resistance, so it can help you avoid uh, the regulatory uh, the 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 uh, uh, the, the regulatory, uh, regulatory concerns. It has uh, it's more safe to use. More safe. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you for that detailed answer. I'll jump to the next question now. Uh, this audience member is asking: Is it useful for gene KO and bacteria? Uh, so. This tool is the, uh, the optimized for uh, the mammalian cell uh, gene editing applications. Um, but we do in for the guide and design tool, uh, we do have uh, the more spe uh, other species, non, uh, they're non, not human or mouse, uh, but they are commonly used uh, the organism for research. Uh, so, but if you want to uh, get design guides, uh, get any support, you can reach out to our tech support team. We can support you with the guide design or even HR designs for uh, the bacteria uh, species or any other spe non, uh, the species that not include in the tool. Okay, perfect. I'm just so busy here. There's so many questions that are rapidly coming through. So sorry if I'm taking a bit of time here. Let me just go to the next question here. Um, is the design tool only for human cells or could it be used for genomes of parasites like leishmania that actually has no introns? Uh, so the design tool is a, uh, a designed aim for supporting the you know, more, like, more uh, standard the uh, gene editing, the, the uh, SGR, HDR designs, and uh, uh, currently only uh, accommodate designs for 10 species, including, uh, let's see, sorry, hey, that was a question. Uh, it's not only for human cells, it's also mm -hmm. for other species. Uh, you can check our web, uh, website and you see what species we can support. Um, a, if you need the designs for any other species, as I mentioned, uh, you can reach out to our tech support team. We do have the uh, the team to can support uh, the designs for other uh, 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 rare species. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, let me go to the next question here. Is the purification method SALT or HPLC based relevant for a particular application, research, or process development? Good question. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. The dissolved SGRA uh, is the cell, the uh, SGRA uh, products will just go through a uh, simple dissolved process. And uh, so actually it's a, a less material loss. And, uh, but the purity is sufficient for uh, the, any, uh, the, the very basic research. And so for example, you try to uh, knock out gene in a very easy uh, the cancer cell line and mm -hmm. uh, you know, try to elucidate the function, you know, the, and so those, the, the guides purity and the quality is, is sufficient to support, it's cost effective. Um, mm -hmm. But if you are working with the, uh, the, the cell, cell gene therapy development, working with I say iPSC cells, um, mm -hmm. primary T cells or any very uh, sensitive uh, the cell types or cell lines, and uh, it's better to use the, the HPSC purified guides because the, the guide sequence uh, the purity is over 90%. It has a uh, low set of toxicity, uh, you know, it can help improve cell viability. And uh, also if you work with the mouse embryo injection, and it's also very sensitive to the, you know, the toxicity, uh, then you want to use a, a pure guide uh, for your experiment. 
Okay, Mary, thank you. All right, so let's jump to the next question here. This audience member is asking, Gia, if we were, if we are working on put putative protein, some new gene, and would like to elucidate its function, if the design gRNA from GenScript is not working, how can your technical team help in this regard? Very specific yes. question. Yes, biology is complicated. And uh, so uh, for genes, and uh, uh, first I would suggest you to try our design too, because we really, really work very hard to optimize the whole design algorithm. So the design output is quite reliable. It can really handle the most the educations to target protein coding transcripts. Uh, but in some cases, you do have the, the genes, such as high, the pure uh, sequence uniqueness in the high pseudo genes, or you know the high GC content, the sequences, and all and the other challenging uh, the uh, situations and uh, the guys may not work very well in your hands and you can always reach out to our tech support team we can help you to review your designs and help to customize it and do uh to come up a better solution okay all right sorry for that everyone let me just get to the next question here uh, we're going to try to get to as many as we can with the uh, nine minutes we have left. All right. Uh, I want to order a sgRNA in plasma for an easy KO experiment to generate KO cell line. I was wondering if there are any options to receive the sgRNA in the inducible plasma so I would be able to use the system in case if the homozygous um, zygos KOs were not viable. Yes, uh, you can use plasmid to deliver the uh, isgRNA and Cas9 components, even HR templates. So we support this. Is our regular service we provide the support, and uh, all we need is uh, you need to let us the gene name. Or if you have it, we can even support with these designs if we can find out annotated the, the genomic sequence uh, the, uh, for your species. Also for the um, uh, the vector, uh, we need the vector information. So uh, you, if you have the vector in-house, you can uh, uh, share the vector information with us. We can synthesize or see the vectors, even make uh, design modifications. Or if you have ready to use vector, just the, uh, provide the vector to us. We can synthesize the sequences and clone that into your design vector. Okay, all right. I'll go to the next question here. My knockdown efficiency is always around 60%. How can I improve my sgRNA design? So six percent knockout efficiency is not bad, and mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to further improve it, uh, we can uh, you know first we need to see the sequences uh, that you you used uh, for your uh, experiment, and mm -hmm. that could be multiple factors. One, um, uh, if you single guide, if you use single guide to uh, to perform a knockout, uh, we can even try to help you to uh, to design multiple guides uh, instead of doing making. The, uh, a small indel, uh, we can try to uh, target the genomic sequence with a, uh, a fragment so that they mm -hmm. get a higher chance to improve the knockout efficiency. Uh, also, um, uh, we can help you to evaluate the, uh, in the uh, let's see, what's uh, the question? In uh, um, well, My knockout efficiency is always 60%. How can I improve my sgRNA design? Uh, let's see. Yes, I think that if uh, for me now it, in, it came across my mind is if you we check the, the your knockout approach. If the single guide change to a multi guide, and also uh, we always check if you are missing any uh, the the short or other transcript as forms. If yes, we did we can design additional guide or sequences mm -hmm. to target those the um, the uh, transcript as forms. Okay. All right. Thank you for that, Gia. Let's go to the next question here. Uh, there are many parameters in the HDR design tool. What is the most important parameter we should pay attention to achieve high KI efficiency? So KI efficiency is a little bit challenging. So there are two components, you know, there's the guide RA and the HDR templates. So for the guide RA, uh, the, uh, the sequences, the, the three uh, key factors you need to look into will be mm -hmm. the r -tag score, and the uh, off target score, also the GC content. And uh, those are the uh, the three parameter, the key factor determining the, the guys on track the editing efficiency. And uh, for the HDR, uh, the part, and you need to check if your the homage, homage armor design and also the um, your target load site, sometimes it's based on the, the genome that the, the locus is hard to access and uh, mm -hmm. uh, those subtypes. 
And so there are multiple factors in the, if you want to provide more information, you know, we, we can discuss your project and we can mm -hmm. have you assess the cell types and the tactical side and uh, the uh, the guide designs you the country use and also even optimize, have you review your HR template and, and further optimize it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna to try to squeeze two more questions in. Uh, this audience member is asking, does your design platform account for different strains of mice? Uh, excuse me, can you? Yeah, no problem. Question? Yeah, does your design platform account for different strains of mice? And no, we only have the the, uh, the reference genome from one, uh, the uh, CBL, let's see, it is one mouse strain, um, mm -hmm. but uh, we can definitely help you support the, the, uh, the design for different mouse strains and uh, we can get access to those, say, the, genome, the, the sequence, the end of the, the, uh, the genomic sequences. Okay, and then here's another question here. I'm going to try to squeeze this one in. Can your sgRNA and or HDR design tool use genomic sequence of already modified animal to continue modification? Uh, let's see which question. Sorry, I I, I, I did not hear you clearly. Oh, can you sure. Again? Can your sgRNA and or HDR design tool use genomic sequence of already modified animal to continue modification? It's possible. It's possible, and as long as we uh, have the, the very accurate the uh, genomic sequence uh, to start from, uh, start with, yeah, we can definitely have the design guide and HR templates. Okay, all right, and let me just go back here to one other question. Does your guide design tool support prime editing base editing? Yes, we do support the primary editing and base editing, and mm -hmm. that will support all the regions, the pack array design, and also the uh, the the a base editor and prime editor in the protein and RNA format. And if you have those requests, you can really uh and really use our services. And our PyRNA uh design also the synthesize C is really our strength. Uh, we mm -hmm. can uh, synthesize a very long PyRNA up to 231 bit uh, base pairs. Okay. Now I know we have a lot of questions coming in, so unfortunately we're not able to answer all of them. But I'm going to squeeze this last one in. Uh, does the HDR template design to account for sequence-specific factors that can influence KI efficiency? Yes. Yes. The HDR designs is based on the uh, guide RNA sequences. You know the uh, the two selected for their target sites, and mm -hmm. so that's itself the sequence specificity is there. Also, the homogeneous arm lens can be uh, optimized based on the uh, the target region, the uh, the surrounding sequences, and we can help improve the uh, sequence the, the the specificity of the uh, of the the, uh, the HDR templates. Okay, perfect. All right, I think we've we've worn you out with all these questions, but thank you very much for answering all of them. We've come to the end of the Q and A portion of the webinar, and I just want the audience member to members to know that uh, unfortunately we weren't weren't able to address your questions, but rest assured the team at GenScript will follow up with you after this presentation. And also, if you have any further questions or re or require any more further resources, please utilize the email address that you see there on your screen. Okay, thank you everyone for participating in today's webinar. You will be receiving a follow-up email from Xtalks with access to the recorded archive of this event. A survey window will be popping up on your screen. Your participation is appreciated as it will help us to improve on our further webinars. Additionally, give me a few seconds. I will be sharing a link to view the recording of today's event in the chat box, which you can also share with your colleagues so they may register for the recording here as well. And for those of you watching via LinkedIn Live events, we encourage you to visit xtalks.com to register for this event and gain access to features such as viewing the recording and more. Now please join us in thanking our speaker for her time here today. Thank you, Gia. We hope you found this Thank webinar you. informative. It has been my pleasure to be your webinar moderator. On behalf of the team here at X Talks, we thank you for joining us. I'm Sonia Hunt. Until next time, please take care and bye for now. Bye everyone. Bye Gia. Bye, bye everyone.